Did you look at the other one? No. I was just wondering. We're on. We're on. <laughs> you have the instruments, so. Oh. Right, here we are with pig dissection and this pig mrs martin what's special about this piggy this pig has been double injected with a blue dye for um veins and a red dye for arteries okay so we should be able to see a little bit more inside we um, have a male pig this is the umbilical cord so if we watch the uh, fresh pig, this one is going to be a little different. Uh, he's a lot st stiffer mm -hmm. for a start. Okay, so a little piggy. All right, should we do the same way we did yesterday? I think so. Okay, so we're going to start uh, just in the lower abdomen. And we will get his every time. He's tough. And the knife around. This is actually much better. There we go. Okay. Oh, you're cutting the um, bladder. I am. Oh. So the urinary bladder is right here. Did I cut through? Might have. But maybe not. I would cut it just down. This way. There we go. So it's right there. You didn't there, cut it. You didn't, you cut, didn't it. cut it. There we go. And then down we'll go down to his leg, yes. Yes. Pork chops for dinner. <laughs> we could have had them. I told Bill I didn't think so. It wasn't a good <laughs> night for pork chops. For those of you watching, we had a pork sandwich for lunch, but never mind. <laughs> there we go. All right. See, we do. We might as well cut while we're here. Yes. Yes. All right. We'll try not to slice through too much diaphragm. There it is. Okay. Right through. Right there. You can see. There it is. Yes, it's inevitable, isn't it? It, it is. I can get it just at one side intact. Gosh, how much harder than the fresh one, huh? Mm-hmm. Then he is bigger, too. Yes, so. more dastardly today. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get down the sides. All right, so we can, we can see. He's a toughie. All right, so we can see the diaphragm is. We might be able to use a pin today. Yeah, we might be able to use pins. You want me to get the pin? Yes, yeah, so let's see if we can yeah. use the pins today. So do we put them no, 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 behind your backpack? on the side of the diaphragm, you can't actually see it. Sweeney Todd today. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so here is um, diaphragm. So here's the diaphragm. You can see where I've cut it because it's attached to here. But you can see there, and it's still attached on this side. Let's see if I can get some on this side. The 
There we go. Okay, now we can see some diaphragm quite nicely. So here's diaphragm. You can, here it is at this side. So you can see that it's forming that arch across the top here of the liver. So there you can see diaphragm. Nice and muscular, dividing the lower abdomen from the upper abdomen. abdomen. Oh, that's really nice and clear there. I'm going to trim this down lower to yeah. drain out some of this fluid. Oh, he's a nasty, he's a yucky one, huh? Yeah. There we go. Very nice side. Yeah. Well, you're a lot more watery than me. I'm quite thick and milky at this side. It was really thick at first here, too. It was this that came down. And Let me cut through the day from the this guy. There we go. There, that's probably pretty There good. we go, oh, here it comes down. There we go, there we go. All right. Oh, nice and... All right. And I'm just gonna see if I can cut down there and get some more of this fluid out from up above that didn't wanna drain down. There, that's good. There we go. All right, Thanks. let's see what we... It's still square, yes. All right, so we have, uh, so we start at the bottom like we did yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna even do this. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> He's a tough one. <laughs> Just getting it out of the way better. Yeah. There. Okay, okay I'm satisfied. Great. I do the same at this side. It does make it, yeah, it easier. Does, yes. There we go. It does make it easier, doesn't it? So while we're here, there's the ribs. So here we have the, the ribs and the intercostal muscles in between. So you can see the muscles in between. There we go. It's interesting that the diaphragm comes way up with these ribs, following the rib yep. line. Yep. And the attachment. Yep. And they're shaped as we did in well, we did with both systems. So when we did the digestive system we showed it going over the top of the liver. And when we did the respiratory system, we showed it at the bottom of the respiratory system. So there we have it. Yeah. There's the diaphragm. And Mike can if we turn this around. They can see the diaphragm really nicely right there. Yep. Oh that's much that's nicer, yeah. So you can see, and the esophagus comes through somewhere up in here, in there. Yeah. Hey. Are you still under? Are you still centered? Center stage. All right, so the, uh, this we have here. Let me get it. So this is the liver. So here is the liver. And making rather a mess. And then let's turn, let's turn him around. There we go. So, I'm here making a nice mess under here. Here's the gallbladder. So. And you can see the green just all around it, even here yep. where it's dripped. It's... So, there's the gallbladder tucked up underneath the liver with the green bile. So, much greener than on the um, fresh pig. Yes. yes. So, here are the lobes of the liver. One, two, three, four lobes. Four lobes. And it's quite firm, you know, unlike if we watch the, like the uh, fresh pig, this was very slippy and slidey and nice and bright red. And now, of course, it's been preserved, so now it's much, much, much firmer um, to the touch. Yes. We come down underneath, we have, where's the gallbladder? So here is the stomach. And this is the spleen here. Where's the pancreas? Is that it over there? It's under the stomach. Yeah. Is it there? Is that it there? Um, usually you, you lift the stomach up and the spleen up out of the way. It'll be under there. Do you see it? I think it's right. Is that it? Uh -huh. I 
think that might be um, or else maybe it was this and it's just degraded but yeah. it should be it more should be, yeah. obvious this is there it is there it, it is there it is there okay it is. so there there is the there's way. the pancreas under here the other thing to see here is you can oh, if I make the membrane we'll be able to see it because the membrane around uh, there it is there we are we can see it much better now so tucked so here's the one end here's the tail um, Oh, much better. There we go, Mrs. Martin. We can see it really nice now. There we go. So here's the tail up here, up feeding into the top of the small intestines. This this is the stomach. And this bag looks very flimsy, but muscular walls. And this is the spleen that is coming around here. We didn't mention the spleen. But, um, so there is the stomach feeding then into the top of the small in. No, right there's here. the where's the top of it right under here. here yeah top of the small intestine and what i think we can show better on the preserved than we can on the fresh one is the membrane although we could see it yesterday but it's the membrane that holds the small intestines in the formation so this is not loose it's not like it's a hose pipe that's all piled up it's actually held in formation by these membranes. It's kind of on a ray out here and you can see the blood vessels going in and out of there quite nicely. So all of this small intestine, small intestine, small intestine, small intestine. Small. Right there is where it joins into the large. And there. So quite right a, there. Yeah, so quite a defined. And if this was us, there would be a, a um, appendix here. I was just saying, do pigs have appendix? I don't see any indication of an appendix, but or is that really not it? Maybe it's down lower. Where did it first enter into the large intestine? So oh, pig large intestines are a little different configuration to ours, yes. so ours goes, goes just round in that Oops, square, and, down. and uh, you can see the pig one is quite different. So again, on a membrane, you can see this is all, it's very organized and membranes holding it all together. In fact, I feel it's broken one of them, just feel it again. Large intestine, so it would almost seem like this. I'm just trying to see where the small intestine is. this would look as though it's join. further down, doesn't it? No, this looks like it's further along. See, I thought this was it, but when I actually pull it out, it's just a membrane holding this. Holding that piece there. But that's got to be it because where else would it be joining? Yeah. Okay. So the other thing you can see is the um, the, mu the uh, rings of muscle that go around. Um, it gives that the uh, feces the form. So you can see the, the muscle that goes around and then feeds into the... Let's here. see if we can get this fluid out of him. So and then feeds into the rectum. Down, down here. So there you are. You can see the rectum going down here. This is the bladder here. Well, I didn't puncture it, did I? I did no, a nice did job there. <laughs> you did an excellent so, job. So here's the bladder coming here, and here's the rectum. And then if we get into the sides here, it's very messy in here. Get this in, side was a little bit better. bit better. There we go. We can see the kidney. So I'm getting my head in the way. So here is. Here's the kidney, if I can get through this membrane, maybe we can get to it under here. I don't want to, I've got a feeling it's going to fall apart. So there is, I got it, there is one kidney, that side, and the other kidney is, the other kidney's a little messy, but the other kidney is um, exactly the same, it's down here, there it is. There's the other kidney on the other side. There we go. There it is. There we go. There you go. So, here we go. And the, oh, membranes over everything, of course. And there's the other kidney. So then those kidneys feed then. Oh, are these the two ureters coming down the side? They might no, they be would the, feed um, into the I top of the bladder. Those are, because um, this was the umbilical artery. So it could be that those are the, because, you know, the... Well, though, is that it? Uh, is it is, is here's it? the, um, you know, the, the hole, the... Yeah, the, 
pees out of. So I wonder, is, I wonder if that there is the. You've also got your Vos Deferons and stuff like that yeah. too for this. Yeah. And I'm not sure. See, see, That's one? just a, a, a little a ligament. ligament. Is that mm -hmm. a ligament holding yes. everything in place? Yes. All right. So here, here is the um, the rectum um, coming down from all of this under here, being the there it is. I get the membrane off the large intestine. There we go. Okay. So. Uh, are you ready to go into yes, the chest? Yes, let's um, make sure we're still, we're still nice and square. Let's come up to his chinny chin chin. Under his chinny chin chin. Under the hair of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> and this little piggy has hair on his chinny chin chin. And that must be quite a job finding the vein to inject the. Uh, they do it through. I'm sorry, how do they do it? I was going to say, because you know, I see the red through, there, through but the, maybe yeah. not. It looks like it's through the neck. Through the neck, though, yeah. Okay. Imagine doing that job, huh? What do you do for a living? Oh, I inject inject blue and red dye into dead piglets. Oh, yeah. So we want to be steady here because we're trying to find. See, I, I sliced the um, larynx a little bit. Oh, yeah. I went too deep. You kill this pig, Mrs. Martin. I went too oh, deep. my goodness. We want to be able to show you the trachea and the esophagus quite nicely, so we're just. I'm going to take it steady here. Touch it through some blood vessels here, but. Like gardening. Okay, what are we getting into? Is that blood vessels? Looks like it. Because you can feel the tray. Oh, I can. Is it, there it is. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, it's right under there. It's right in there. I thought, no, there we go. I thought, I, thought I could see some ridges. Yes. This might be like the thymus gland and stuff that's in the neck. So. You got your oh, thyroid and there your it thymus. Is, there we go. Yeah. There it is. All right, so here is the trachea. Let's see if we can get some of these membranes out of the way so that you can see it. Oh, here we go. And the trachea, it's right about here that it's branching and going into the lung, but you do have all your big blood vessels yeah. coming in here. So too. you can see the ridges on it. You can see the cartilage rings. You can see them pretty clearly. You may need to zoom in on your video, but you can see them pretty clearly. Here we go. And there is the, go. the larynx up at the top of the trachea. With a nice cut through With it. a nice cut through the middle of it, but never mind. He's dead anyway. And, of course, behind the trachea. Shall we cut the trachea is it, now? Is it still yes. centered? It is. Uh, yes, we'll cut the trachea now so we can look at it end on. Uh... I always think that's a good view. There we go. And there we go. There is trachea end on. Because if I went down here and then into the bronchi, bronchus and into the bronchi, so you can see that it is open. And those C-shaped rings, so here's the C with the back not complete because that goes against the esophagus. And you can see just how open it is. So imagine that your trachea is just the same. And when you feel it, you can feel, I can run my nail along those ridges quite nicely. And then behind it, hand out the way behind it, we have the esophagus. So here is the esophagus. Let me see if I can, I've already cut it a little bit. So here the two together, trachea in the front, esophagus at the back closed, but you can see the layers. There we go. So there's it open, but nothing to hold it open. So that muscular tube. Now, if we carried on across with the tool down here, this would lead us all the way down here into the stomach. This is the one that goes through uh, the diaphragm. And if we went down this one, we are going into the lungs. And this is just a large blood vessel, yes? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure those are just blood vessels. They look like blood vessels. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it up here Cut it so up we can head it closer. Maybe help. So if you look at that, that's definitely blood vessel. And we can see blue dye in there. Can you? Oh, oh red no, red dye. dye. Red dye in there, so that is an artery. Or, also. or, 
pulmonary vein. Oh, pulmonary vein. And yes. because of its size, I bet that's what it is. You think that's the pulmonary vein? I do, because it's so thin. It's not the superior vena cava, is it? No, that's a really big blood vessel. That's much bigger than that. Okay. I don't see it right now, but I've seen them before. <laughs> All right, now let's All right, so what's let's, next, Mrs. Uh, Basto? Let's look for some lungs next. Oh. So let's, uh, so we'll cut this membrane. So this, uh, this is, no, that, uh, yeah, that's pleural membrane there, yes. yes? So pleural membrane, so that's the membrane uh, that is wrapped all the way around the outside of the lungs. So we'll just, there's another blood vessel there, and I want to snip too many. So let's go, we haven't got so and much at that side, have this we? This side's open. That side's open, so these look nice. So, pig's lungs, you know, the heart more dangles down, obviously, because it's a, it walks on four legs, of course, not two. So, its heart is sort of dangling down in front of the lungs. Our lungs, of course, are more to the side. But you can see them. Let me get right down to the bottom of this lung. Let me go all the way. Let me go move that. So, here's the diaphragm. I'll move it. That's a nice view of the diaphragm, too. Move the diaphragm. Oh, yes. That is nice. So there's the diaphragm. And here we have the piggy's left lung. Uh, it's soft but firm. Keeps its form uh, um, quite, uh, quite well, but it is soft. It is soft to the touch. And now yesterday we, could, we were trying to find the bronchus, weren't we? Yeah, it will be. And then where Mrs. March is outside here is the, let's move all this lot out of the way. And here is the right lung. You can see how far it goes down here and almost to the pig's back, just because of where, of where the um, lungs are in the pig. But uh, very soft. Not soft, what's the word? Pliable, I guess. Smooth, plant soft. It's firm. It's firm, but it's squishy. You know, it, yes. it's, it's uh, you can, I would say it's soft. That's it's what soft. I yeah. describe it. Yeah. Like Not, of course, anywhere near as soft as the fresh pig was. Everything was slipping and sliding around. So I'm looking here as this going down. See, I think this right here, I'm trying to decide, is that the esophagus, esophagus yeah. or is that the descending aorta? Oh, okay, yes. I don't, know, make, I don't know which one it is. I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to yeah, just move. you can go and cut it. Let's cut that. So we're now. Is this the descending aorta, or I think it's the aorta because it's so big. But where is the esophagus then coming down okay, to the stomach? Oh yeah, I think that's just down against the um, backbone. I think it's further down, further deep. I think it's right there. But maybe I've got them backwards. But you see that. Cut okay. that one too. Cut Let's that decide one too. which is which. All right, so we have that looks more blood vessel-y, doesn't it? It does. That looks more. But look at it. It's the closed tube. That's the esophagus. I don't know. That's pretty firm. You feel it? That's pretty firm. It is. Well, hang on. There's a what's this? What? What's this one? Look, we've got this one. There's also the ah. vena cava. What's this one? Is it one's going to be vena cava, the um, inferior vena cava. That's See, a, that's blood vessel. That's blood vessel. And this vessel. one too, because they've got all the right. So the middle one. So this one here is the esophagus. Is the esophagus. One of these is vena cava, and the other one is the descending aorta. All right. Shall we? Wow. Shall we? That's move? awesome. I've never had that. So oh, Mrs. Martin, I'm going to get tissue so I can put that on my hand. Okay. Put it on rather a white background so we can see it a bit better. How many days this week are we doing this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so we are on heart removal. Okay, so okay. I, I can tell that this is the um, pulmonary artery because it's coming out of the right ventricle. Yep. And somewhere is the pul um, aorta coming out of the other side. So if you just try cutting high, you should be able to get. <laughs> Here, like high here. Yeah. Let me move this membrane first. Hang on. It's like I always wonder how do surgeons so, find stuff. So in here. Yeah. Okay. 
And you get oh, it's funny to see things move yeah. here. Okay, let's see. And I'm cut, cutting high again. Oh, that was a good cut. Am I through? It's not coming out yet, though. You cut this. No, I tore that. That's good. And. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't this worry. is what they call a pluck. If you take this and you get the heart and lungs. Oh. When you get it from a slaughterhouse, they'll call that a pluck. A pluck. And we should be able to just pull that little pluck right out because you've already. But there's the. Um, this. Yeah, maybe we've just got membrane or something that something just gave way then. Yeah, what's holding that in? There, there we go. So this is called there we a go. pluck. That's a pluck. Okay, so if we're doing heart lung transplant, just look how much they take out. Oh, so, the heart is not. See, this must be the vena cava, the one that I thought might have been the aorta. But you can see it's coming it's going up into, yep. into an atrium. Okay, so this is the uh, inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava coming up. And it's almost up there. It's yep. hard, but it because it's up covered in there, tissue. Yes. But yeah. there's the hole for there's it to the go hole in. for it to go in. You can see more the um, sorry the lung formation now as well. If we go to this side, so that's the piggy if he's on his back. There we go, and you can see his lungs come down the side more. Um, and then at the bottom here, we decided yes. Yeah, so this is the Vena cava. The vena cava. This one is the esophagus. And you can see it is a closed tube. Closed tube. And this one is the descending aorta. Oh, the red there, you can see the red. Descending aorta. All right, so let's see if we can separate off the lungs, which of course we don't want to. Oh, so far more in pieces, I think, than ours, yes? You know, um, I mean, there looks to be the sort of you know, we would we we never... have all these lobes. Um, Maybe they're just more separated, are they, than I was? Probably because of the shape of the pig. Maybe shape of the body that they're trying to get into. All right, let's see if we can get up. So, if we look on the outside of the heart, see if I can make sure we get so you can see. Okay, so this is how we would be looking, as if we were looking at our diagram. So, uh, right atrium up here. Here, I'll get this. Um, okay. So, right atrium, the top here. And it's very stiff because it's preserved. Yeah. But it is that little. So, flat. if you look on the one from the fresh pig, this is all very, very slippy and um, squishy. Here is the left, uh, the right, the left atrium, the left atrium, and then your right ventricle and your left ventricle. There we go. And then here is the, let's set this again, uh, inferior vena cava coming up into. So let's see, yeah. Uh, that's just tissue, yes. It is just tissue, connected tissue. One thing's just holding everything together. Uh, oh, there we go. So, <clears throat> so, we can see. so inferior vena cava coming up into the right atrium. And here is the superior, there, yes. There's, there it is. Yep. You can see down. they're going down there superior vena cava going down into the right too. atrium. Gosh, it is hard, isn't it? Yes. So, um, here, is this the case of so your pulmonary artery? Do you see the um, aorta coming? So this one here is the pulmonary artery. So this is the main one, the one goes up the middle and then it splits into left and right. So pulmonary artery coming from the right ventricle, taking blood to the lungs. there do you see any? you see a lot of extra tissue that's what those are the things that hold everything in place inside your body so they don't move around and then i'm looking for the aorta coming up usually, out usually we can i think this is your trachea right here with the, that's the, the yep there's the esophagus and the aorta should be in here should be is coming it, is it there is it there there, there. right there, there. yep there Okay, should we take the lungs off? Sure. See if we can. Do you need a blade? I don't I think so. Oh, here we can see some. Here's the um, arteries going into the lungs, yes. These are the pulmonary arteries, yes. 
Yes, the little skinny okay. ones. So we decided, so this is the descending aorta, so we're here somewhere, aren't we? And if you go in and cut those, you'll be able to see at least the holes going yep. into and out of the heart. Um, with all the tissue, it really is hard it to... Really is I'm trying to not cut through major vessels so that at least yeah, we can the see. Coron uh, coronary artery. I mean, not coronary, pulmonary. There you go. And you got there your go. trachea. All right, I've got itchy nose. All right, here's the uh, here's the trachea. Can you see the ridges? Oh, you can see. There you go. You can see the that's the division. Yes, is that the division there for the bronchi? Oh, did you? Oh, get it. Uh, I think maybe just about. Just look. There's the division in the middle. Yes. So one that way and one that way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nearly. We nearly got the the bronchi. Well, it has to be, because it's going down lower. You wouldn't have trachea unless I think we is... pulled it through. Uh, I, think, I think it was up here and we pulled it through. Oh, uh, okay. So there it is. Okay, cool. so what are we looking for now? So, um, what are we looking for now? Here's your superior and inferior vena cava. Yeah, so we're looking for... Clear. So we're looking for... Let's get the trachea out of the way. We're looking for aorta, aren't we? Get now? it off? Yes. Oh, I just rip a trachea off. Right, there we go. Oh, Mrs. Martin with a bleed. There we go. This... This is the um, pulmonary, pulmonary artery. artery. Yes. So I guess I'm going to... Is that this? the pulmonary vein? Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to cut it. She's going for it. There we go. So pulmonary artery. Where's the aorta gone? We had it up here. It's interesting because you're not... I'm not seeing much red at all. I'm mostly no, just seeing blue. I think they maybe have got this. Look at this nice thing. Here we go. Look, here we go. Let's go. Look at that latex I pulled out of this one. Oh, ah, come on. Okay, here. That's the, there's the altar here. There. Yes. Okay. The three. There we go. There we go. Okay. Phew. We found. Does it. he have an aorta? It's okay. Beautiful. So, sure we can see. So here's the aorta. And here's the three, one, one, two, I'm going to find the third one. I am going to find that third one. It's in there somewhere. All right, I'll give up. I need to. It's there somewhere. Here is the, oh gosh, it's hard to get in. Here we go. Let's get some of this out of the way. There we go now. That better now yes so here is the all right aorta. here's the aorta so here's the pulmonary artery coming out to the lungs and here is the aorta which then comes down the back as the descending aorta i wonder if we can cut off um one of the atria and see a valve mm -hmm. i've never been able to okay let's see, see if we can a do good that. valve it's not cutting easily Mm. Look at it, you know, not a good thing when you're doing this. Yeah. Trying to get the light in there. I guess that's that's the valve there. Yeah, you know, come, come in, you're not. Yeah. Yes. There we go, there we go. I've got the itchiest no, 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 no. So the valve. Try and pull this latex out. Yep. But the valve is right there. Right there. I just can't tell if yep. what I'm seeing, even this, what is this little hard piece? Was that the. Should we try um, slicing like we did with the one yesterday? Yes. Want me to do that? Yes. Okay, I'm going to put it down on the desk. Cause, so I'm going to slice um, as if we were looking at the diagram that we've been using see if we can see the division of the two ventricles we could yesterday very nicely oh 
Oh, I got it a little bit too far one way. Okay. So here is. Uh, so I think that this is just way around, are we? This is just, I think, dry blood. Dry blood, blood yes. Uh, oh, that's oh, and that's some more. Look. Oh yeah, that's what that. Uh, now yesterday we could see heartstrings too, couldn't we? So. Hmm. Maybe. On this. Oh, there's the valve right there. Okay, so we have uh, ventricles at bottom, so you can see the level of my, I think I've, like, I'm at a funny angle, I think, with the cut. Trying yeah, that is dry blood, out. isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, a lot in this side. All right, let's put them back together, so. All right, so as your diagram would be, this is how we have our diagram. And then so this here we have, um, it's a bit messy I know, but I think you can see uh, right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, and the valves of course are in between these two. And if we can get, I think we could see, it's very dry in here isn't it? I think it is very dry. This is all very dry. This looks like, let's see. Where is it coming up? Usually the valve for the thing is way up high. I'm trying to see even going into the pulmonary artery. What do you think? Can you see a valve looking up in there? Mm. Like right there? Right maybe? there? Yeah. That might be. I'd, uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. Oh, there's, there's some heart strings. There oh, we go. Yes. oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So here are. Oh, look at those. Now you're really going to have to zoom in because even I can only just see them. Let's see how close we can get. Let's just move this way a little bit. All right, the here. Those. Can you, I hope you. I do hope you can see them because I can see them. Those are the uh, strings that pull the uh, valves between the right atrium and the right ventricle. And there they are. And that's where the term heartstrings comes from. So we could see them. Wonderful. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right, Mrs. Martin. Anything else you think we should point out while we're here? Um, I really feel like that has pretty much covered it. You might be able to get the uh, larynx out. You want a knife? Yeah. yeah. Make sure I got the right side. I know, that's tricky, that blade. Yeah. More than once I've tried to cut with the wrong side. Alright. And up above. Let's see if we can... Just wondering if we could see vocal cords or not. Was I able to dissect it out or not? Uh, I might have... I think that's them right there. Right there. Right there. There's your vocal cords okay. right there. there. There they are. Okay, there vocal are. cords right in there. That's what allows the picking and to I go. And I cut off the epigrams. Those are the oink, 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 squeak, 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 squeak cords. Yeah. All right, well, I think we've done you a good, a good pig. We've seen trachea really clear. We've seen esophagus. We've seen lungs. Huge liver. Heart, huge liver. Nice gallbladder that we could see. A nice little stomach. stomach. Spleen. We saw a nice uh, pancreas. Pancreas. It's really down. nice. There's right a there. nice. That's one of the nicest ones I've yeah. seen. Yeah. Nice clear pancreas. Uh, nice small intestines. All wrapped up here. Large intestines into the rectum and kidneys at the side. And this is the pig's bladder. Your bladder, of course, is nothing like that shape. Your bladder is more of a round shape but um pig bladder and um, excellent excellent okay thank you mrs martin all right thank, thank you, you everybody pig dissection take two complete